Alright, so we just picked up David and we just arrived to the spot. Doing a little off-road action right quick. Oh, would you look at that? Some reptilians over here. Yeah. A couple on the banks. Some over there in the rocks. Dude, you think we should try catching some? Uh, I think it's possible. Before we can declare this area our campground, we have to secure it and make sure there are no iguanas. built up in him. Ooh, just calm down. Ooh, look at that tail. Pop it open, Dave. Oh, smack. Ooh. What could it be? An umbrella? A guana umbrella? Oh. Gosh. Dude, we, we just got this umbrella trap. How does it work, though? Yeah, how does it work, man? I don't know. It seems like there's holes that things go inside there, and they get trapped. Oh, look. It's got a, even a zipper right here, dude. Okay. Dude, it's even got a zipper. Going... Oh, pull the string. Oh! Okay. Oh! <laughs> nice, huh? Good. Dude, that looks like a really good bait right there. Okay. It's got a fish head. Okay. Throw that fish head in there. Oh, man. That thing is massive. Oh, dude, that's going to be really good bait, bro. We got to get some string so we can tie this up to and then I guess we throw it in the water, right? Yeah. Let's see if this works, man. Let's do it, bro. I guess tie it to this little plastic bead right here do a nice little fisherman's knot so even if there is a big fish that goes in there hopefully we'll be able to catch them we'll add an extra knot just for good luck massive fish right here we have the head the head, right in there the head is so giant bro let's go ahead let's go ahead and toss this thing in here the guanaman has the string on the net fish inside of the net We're uh, battling through uh, crab mug right now. I think we're like sinking in a little bit, so we're gonna have to step on rocks. Literally, watch yourself, bro. I'm gonna twist an ankle. Oh, whoa, whoa. Very, very dangerous. Whoa, this stuff is really slippery, dude. It's flat, bro. Oh, oh. the string! <laughs> no! Oh, okay, so nice one, just bro. Just covered. This is such a fail. This looks harder than it actually is, guys. Hold on. We just need to get a good toss and let it go right side up, and we're in the game. That's about it. This is like my 30th attempt, but it's okay. <laughs> the 31st one that counts. Let's get it. Perfect. All right, let's see what we can get from here. I got the end of the string. Oh, yeah, we found a stake. Let's go ahead and tie this right here. You can just get it. Oh, oh there's a crab hole right there. We'll just put it right in there. Boom. Yeah. That's what's going to stop you from coming, pulling it out? Yeah. Nice. Well, just so we have it, just so we know where it's at, right there. Now we don't have to tie it on a rock, we know it's right there. You guys, so this is camp right here. We have our crab trap out. We have our fresh fish right here. We got our grill right there. We got our cooler. And we have our bait. Oh, wait a second. Dude! Look at this. Oh! Got some uh, melon water. I think we can uh, lure some uh, iguanas with this. We'll store it over there in the grass and maybe they'll run for it. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, man. Let's go oh, in, um. Look at that. Ah. Thank you. 
It's raining watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> Good 10 minutes. I just chunked the whole chum of uh, iguana bait over there. See if I'm iguanas come out the bushes. Disposal. Quick disposal. Charcoal bro. And we're gonna get this party started. So it says remove wrapper, cardboard before lighting, obviously. Mm -hmm. The good thing about this too is like we're right next to water. So if anything crazy was to happen, we can just get water from there and put out the fire. Go. Fire started. Okay. The iguana man just spotted all of them coming right back out. Oh my gosh, look at that. Dude, there's a giant alpha in the back right there. You see him? Yeah, all the way in the back. Creeping up. And ducks out here too wanted, wanted to feast with us, so. Dude, well, if they get too close, man, they might end up on this grill today. <laughs> alpha eating over there. Oh, look at that alpha for real, dude. Official iguana hunting drink right here. Powerade, if you're watching this, please, please make a flavor for the iguana man. My gosh, dude, that is a dinosaur right there. We had to cut the audio right here because there was an ambulance right down the street and causing a lot of ruckus with the sirens. So David was able to sneak up on this iguana, put the lasso around him, and guys, we did not realize the size of this iguana until we tried catching him. He was really, really strong, and David did a really good job at catching him. We wanted to identify if he was male or female. Moral pores, big dewlap, big head. So me and David are out here catching these giant iguanas. While the guys over there, they can't even catch a cold. Probably knock you silly if you get hit with knock that thing. A little bit. This thing is like a paddle right here, guys. Yeah. Look at this. Look at that. It's like a human arm. It's like a bicep in the forearm. An enormous. Look at the claws. Our Florida iguanas are looking like full, full size of males. Salt, brackish, and fresh water. Ah, multi, multi uh, environmental fish. It's actually one of the favorite bait fish for tarpon, snook. Once again, we're gonna go ahead and gut the fish, guys. Like I said, you don't wanna be eating any of that stuff, man. Could be who knows what in its gut, and you wanna make sure and definitely thoroughly clean that out. Just for safe measures, we got some drinking water right here, fresh from Publix. Oh yeah, adobo right there. Let's see what it says. All-purpose seasoning, burgers, chicken, fish, steaks, with ground cumin. Here you go, bud, do your thing. So we're gonna do the outer coat first. So we're not gonna use too much, but we're gonna at least get the body covered with it. We don't want to just taste only season. Okay, so now it's spread out in there. I know the fire is going to help out more. Just to get it all in the insides by the guts, by all the blood. What do you think? Ready to go? I think it looks good, man. All right. It's ready for the grill. All right, okay. We got something in there. Uh, okay, sir. Let's try something. Oh, there's something oh, in there. We got a crab. Nice. Oh, dude, we got a, dude, we got a one-armed crab for real. Nice. All right, bro. Okay, look. So we got a little aquarium set up. Boom, oxygen. It's looking very tasty. I'm gonna try to eat it now. See if they can hold each other up. It's getting really tender, even the tail's coming off. So far. Careful. Oh, we got a fish. Dude, I don't know what kind of fish that is. Let's put him in the tank. Oh. Oh, there he is right there. Dude, I don't know what kind of fish that is. I don't think I've ever caught one of those before. 
Oh, that is so awesome, y'all. Check out this water right here, crystal clear. We got our two little buddies in here. David's over there working on catching some more friends. Dude, there's crabs over here, bro. Holy smokes, hold on, dude. Eh, I got one. Oh, oh. Put it in the tank. I think I got a poisonous fish in here. I just splashed him with it. He's gonna be really nice in our aquarium. Dude, we have two different kinds. We have a black and white one, and then we have this really beautiful rainbow colored one with our crab. Oh, you just got a mini crab? Got, a got another mini crab. Oh, mud crabs. Oh, there's a whole bunch in there. What? Look at all these crabs. Dude, there's a whole bunch of them. Oh, man. Look, look how cool they are. Hey, hey, buddy. Oh, he's trying to pitch me. Ah! That is so sick. I'm right here. Iguanas, almost ducks, crabs. We got some uh, fish right here, mullet for you. All right. This iguana man will take the tail of this fish. We have crabs swarming around everywhere. Dude, it doesn't get any better than this, yeah. bro. I feel like we really deserve this meal, man. We've been doing a lot today, bro. The outside has a little bit gloomy, but the inside, the meat is all white. Beautiful. Pretty good. Dude, that is delicious, bro. It doesn't have a lot of small bones in it either, you know? Mm -hmm. It's got like some big uh, rib bones, it's got the backbone, and that's about it. There's no little pin bones or anything. Yeah, just look at that white, nice piece. All that's boneless right there? Boneless. No bone. That's awesome. Very good white meat, you know. Not a lot of bones for this fish. This right here, guys, this is really good. Super meaty, super fresh. It's wild caught, perfectly seasoned, and perfectly cooked by David. Yeah, man, look at that right there. All the meat, it just fell right off the bone. The fish itself was a very good white meat type of texture. We do some adobo seasoning on it, so it helped out very good. The seasoning's very good. All in all, you know, the texture's pretty good. I would try to get, give it all a. Guys, if you guys like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys want to see us do next. Now, guys, we're going to go ahead, finish this up, maybe go catch some more iguanas. All right, you guys, we got to go, so we'll see y'all, all right?